hello guys welcome back i am still updating you with the breaking trending news what is going on in nigeria wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day i have another trending news for you today and as you know uh, the southeast is very hot right now so presidency has moved to arrest senator abaribe yes I will give you more details on this. I want to make this quick. But before then, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification. And then uh, my existing subscribers, thank you very much. You guys have been wonderful for the love, the likes, the shares. So without wasting much of your time, as we already know the relationship between Abaribe and the leader of IPOB, Mazi Namdi Kanu, just yesterday, a popular Nollywood actor, as we all know, the story was trending. A popular Nollywood actor was arrested by the military by wearing the, um, a Biafran flag. Not, not as if it's, okay, it's a Biafran flag, but there was no inscription um, as if it's a member of IPOB. But today he was released. I gave you guys uh, the video and the full details in my previous video. So like I said, the presidency has knocked the Senate Minority Leader, Senator Abaribe, for allegedly supporting the IPOB and its leader, Mazin Namdekanu, and using foul language against those in leadership. So the special advisor to the president on media and publicity, Femi Adeshina, in an article yesterday, Thursday night, said Abaribe should be cooling his feet in prison after he stood shorty for someone bent on this embedment of the country. So um, as we already know, we remember that Abaribe was one of the person who stood um, shorty uh, for Namdekanu uh, during 2017. And um, things got worse when uh, the military um, invaded Namdekanu's residence. And um, as a freedom fighter, yes, three things await you is either you go on exile um, is either you are taken into custody or is either you are dead. So anybody that is an activist or a freedom fighter, they already know what they are into. So Namdekanu had to, you know, run for his life. He did not jump bail. Whenever we see the truth, let us say it the way it is. But Adeshina here said that Namdekanu jump bells, that a, a baribe should be in prison for uh, standing as a shorty for Namdekanu and then the, um, supporting Namdekanu and so on. So as we all know, Namdekanu is facing um, some charges uh, where the DSS, we know the background details of the story, how it, he was abducted uh, from Kenya to Nigeria. So uh, his trial will continue. Um, that is October this month, October 21st. All right. So let me know what you guys think. Um, so far, so good. Um, and I, I personally know that these people have no case. According to um, a Jofo, Namdekanu's late counsel, he says they have no case against him. They have evidence, the footage, the CCTV, how the military invaded his residence during 2017. So these people are only looking for a way, you know, to prolong this case and so on, okay? So that is just it. They have, there is nothing wrong. Constitutionally, they know that a freedom fighter asking for self-determination is not a crime. And that is what Namdekanu did. They have no evidence against him. So the only way they could, you know, try to have some evidence is, you know, using his broadcast um, because he says Buari is dead and so on. Those, those are not evidence. All right. But however, I quickly want to update you on this. Let me know what you guys think. As the presidency, because what I am seeing before Adeshina could say this, Okay, who knows if they must have perfected plan for that. See you guys in another video.